Cebu Normal University has existed for over 119 years with a fair share of defeats to learn from, a good number of victories to celebrate, a legacy of excellence to sustain, and a challenge of significance to cultivate. As an employee of university for over 30 years, I have carried in my heart stories of these defeats and victories. I acknowledged that when I took oath as the fourth president of the university, I have the responsibility to uphold a legacy of excellence built by generations of leaders that have come before me. CNU was already recognized as a leading state university in the country and has already started making an impact in higher education through significant achievements in instruction, research, extension, and publication. In moving onwards, the only way is upward to greater heights. The Latin word for ever upward is excelsior, which Stan Lee, a famous comic book writer, used as a catchphrase to mean upward and onward to greater glory. As I render my end of term report, I borrow this word to represent not what I have achieved as a leader of the university, but what the entire CNU community has collectively journeyed through the years. Cebu Normal University has accumulated noteworthy and remarkable achievements in its five strategic directions during the term of Dr. Filomena de Bill as SUC President Ray. In the area of sustaining quality and relevance, the university produced 24 top-notchers in the last four years in the licensure examinations for teachers, nurses, guidance counselors, psychometricians, and chemical technicians. With a consistent 100% passing performance in the nursing licensure examination and consistently very much higher than the national passing percentages for all other programs, the university is always in pursuit of innovations to surpass previous performances. In order to improve the delivery of instruction, efforts have been made to embrace blended instruction starting in graduate studies. At the onset of the pandemic in 2020, the Center for Innovative and Flexible Learning was established to provide options for students through online or modular instruction. The institution has retained its center of excellence in teacher education and nursing programs and it has already received from the Commission on Higher Education the Certificates of Program Compliance for all its programs in the undergraduate studies and has submitted all of its graduate programs for evaluation. A curriculum quality audit has been implemented to relevantize and internationalize the curricular offerings. A mentoring program for students in teacher education has been established in partnership with the Philippine Business for Education, which becomes the model for student mentoring across disciplines. For four years, students have excelled and garnered local, regional, national, and international awards for leadership such as the Outstanding UNESCO Club of the Philippines, Region 7 Hour D for the 10 Outstanding Students of the Philippines, and 2019 Coalition for Better Education Medal of Excellence Award to mention a few. Our students have also excelled in research, journalism, storytelling, sports and culture, and the arts competitions. Students in the Integrated Laboratory School have had significant achievements in science fairs and investigatory project competitions. All of these have become the imprimatur of quality and relevant trainings which the students acquired from the university. Still on quality and relevance, the university has also been recognized as a sustainable and eco-friendly school by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources as Region 7 champion and second place at the national level. CNU is also second runner-up for the 2019 Freedom of Information Award for State Universities and Colleges category and is the only school in the Visayas to be part of the finalists. The FOI award is given to government institutions who showed exceptional and significant contribution to the FOI program's progress and development in pursuance to Executive Order No. 2 Series of 2016. CNU has also secured the most coveted ISO 9001-2015 certifications 
and is recognized by the accrediting agency of chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines as rank one among all SUCs in terms of the highest percentage of accredited programs from 1992 to 2019. At present, all accreditable programs in the undergraduate and graduate levels have been accredited with all colleges having level 4 accreditation. Taking cognizance of the role of the faculty and staff in the delivery of quality education, faculty and staff development has been pursued aggressively with 100% of the faculty and staff being capacitated through trainings and scholarships. From 2017 to 2020, the faculty profile of the university shows a 35% increase in the number of teachers with doctorate degrees with all regular faculty members possessing a relevant master's degree. In the implementation of NBC No. 461 Cycle 7A, there is an almost 50% increase in the number of professors and associate professors in the university. This is a testament to the strong teaching force of the university that facilitates robust student and faculty exchange and mobility programs. For enhancing research development and innovation, research institutes have been established that contributed to the tremendous outputs in research publications in high-index journals. Annual departmental research conferences have been held, citations of faculty researchers increased dramatically, and utility models, publications, and book productions of faculty rose exponentially. From 2017 to 2020, the research institutes have brought in more than 24 million pesos in grants and are yet to receive 14 million pesos in 2021. Now with its very own Research Ethics Committee, the various research outputs of the research institutes have been utilized as a basis for policy briefs and curricular enhancements to name a few. Looking at expanding community engagement and linkages, the university has 118 extension projects, assisted 109 organizations, and partnered with 48 universities in 15 countries worldwide with eHelp as a framework for all the extension advocacies. Working on digitization and automation of operations, the Human Resource Management System was institutionalized garnering the Prime HRM Level 2 award. The CNU website was revitalized and online academic processes were adopted. Lastly, for maximizing resource generation and utilization, physical performance in the last four years has improved having been able to raise its budget utilization rates for both obligations and disbursements in the last four years. Even amid a pandemic, the obligation's budget utilization rate is at 98%, while the disbursement's budget utilization rate of the university is at 93%. The university's budget in FY 2017 to 2020 has not been more than 330 million pesos, but has now been granted 729 million pesos for its FY 2021 appropriation. When funds are optimally utilized, it helps the agency in the accomplishments of its programs, activities, and projects, including a boost in infrastructure development to support instruction. This covers the construction of the eight-story Academic Center for Arts and Sciences building, which houses classrooms and state-of-the-art chemistry, biology, physics, and psychology laboratories. The CNU Balamban three-story building, its concrete driveway and covered pathwalk. The CNU Medellin covered court, Modernization of the University Library, which is now called the Learning Resource Center, that provides online learning resource materials, discussion nooks, reflection hubs, self-return books, and other state-of-the-art features that cater to the needs of the students in the new learning modality. The refurbishment of offices is also done to serve the stakeholders better, and the acquisition of vans is realized to cater the ever-increasing demands of extension services. These and more are concrete manifestations that when we work as a team, together, everyone achieves more. Remaining true to the university's color of crimson, the university exemplified courage to grow, aspire, create, innovate, and take risks. Consistent with its color of gold, the university stood for character, integrity, honor, loyalty, perseverance in the face of adversity, and exhibited humility in the acquisition of knowledge. Together, we worked on improving systems and practices, knowing that every person has a significant contribution to 
what the university has become, is becoming, and can become. In every way, it is I, CNU. All the accolades of CNU are made possible by team effort in shining colors of crimson and gold. At the beginning of my term, the call was to sustain excellence, to go ever upward, and to continue to thrive. We moved through four years achieving one milestone after another, where the university cultivated significance in higher education, always moving onwards and taking the challenge to lead. As I reflect on what glory the colors of crimson and gold represent, I am brought back to the reality of a state university operating in the middle of a pandemic and how we found ourselves facing unprecedented challenges. Difficult is the times, but shining amid the darkness is a CNU family helping and reaching out to one another and to a greater community, complementing the creative innovations of ICNU with a compassionate service that is I care. Sustaining excellence and cultivating significance comes down to one thing, service. CNU's legacy of excellence is a strong foundation and our aspirations give us direction. But it is in service that CNU draws its inspiration. My end of term report is but a small portion of CNU's history, but it tells a story of moving upward and onward to a greater glory. But that this glory is not one defined by medals, trophies, and awards, but by excellence that is translated to quality higher education in the service of building a much stronger nation. As one chapter ends and another begins, let us continue to strive, lead, and serve. Thank you for serving with me for the last four years. Excelsior! Onward, Cebu Normal University.